ha 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 ha. Hey Dr. Wiley, can you read us a story? What? No. How did you get in here? Go bother Dr. Light. Please. Fine. But only part of a story. But we want to hear the whole thing. And I want world domination. But we don't always get what we want now do we? Anyways, let's begin. This first story is by the good Wario. When X and Zero arrived, they found their friend jumping on the armor case to get it shut. Stupid. Piece. Of. Crap. He shouted with each jump, before he missed slightly, and fell onto the floor. Gap. Axel Zero spoke I thought I told you, that you need to put your armor back in the case the exact same way every time. I did. Axel claimed as he stood back up. Then why are you jumping on your case like a monkey on a bed? X asked. I was running out of room in my other bags, so I had to put some stuff in my armor case. X opened the case and the first thing he found was a large jug of whiskey and a metal jug. Axel sheepishly grinned as X took the alcohol out and put it back on a shelf. There'll be drinks available at our destination. Axel Zero spoke. I know but I don't wanna pay for drinks, you know? X quickly rearranged the rest of the stray stuff in the armor case and was able to close it up without issue and took it out into the hall. Axel grabbed his shoulder bag and the three finally began to make their way to leave the base. Our transportation has an aux cable port, right? Axel asked. It does, yes. Zero replied how come? It's just that I got some music mixtapes I want to play on the way there. Zero groaned but X smiled a little. It's gonna be a bit of a drive, especially with the potential traffic. Don't remind me Zero commented it'd be easier to get to our destination if we took our eye chasers. But we wouldn't be able to bring as much stuff and would have to wear our armor. X replied. Zero nodded in understanding and arrived at vehicle dispatch. Reploids had brought the trio's luggage over to a large armored vehicle known as the Frongeur. It was a boxy self painted in matte dark green and had the Maverick Hunter logo on the hood, doors, and trunk. Attached to the back was a trailer with a pair of snow chasers, which were almost identical to rye chasers, but were meant to be used in snow. Ah yes, the bomb-proof sardine can car Axel quipped as he got into the back seat. X opened the driver's door and Zero got into the passenger seat. The vehicle was less cramped than usual as a good part of the normal instrumentation. As X adjusted the driver's seat and Zero got the driver's manual out of the glover box to read it over, Axel was dragging everyone's backpacks into the unoccupied backseat space just in case anyone wanted something from them. Good news Axel. According to the manual this car does have aux support. It's right by the automobile power socket. Axel looked around and found the port and stuck the cable into the car and then into his music player. Alright guys, X spoke as he grabbed the car key are we ready for holiday break? Affirmative. Zero said as he put the manual back in the glove box. I've been ready for a while. Come on. Let's go. There. Are you too happy? May we please have another? Fine. But only because this one's got a picture. This picture and story are by Creeper FLOWE. Oh, don't say that. Roll huffed. I'm sure you did great things. No, I didn't. Phantom snapped, slamming his hands down. I murdered innocent reploids. I went after the one person Master X depended on to fix the damn mess we were in. I wasted my life by dying for an imposter. I wasn't great at all. I'm a horrible person. I'm feared. Roll stood there for a moment, then placed her hand on his shoulder. Why should you making mistakes mean you're a horrible person? I've made mistakes before. So have my brothers. So has Forte and his brothers. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone falters on their way up. What matters is what we take away from these missteps. Roll said. But, good people aren't feared. They're thanked or respected. Phantom asserted weakly, his voice cracking. So, my brothers were feared on occasion when we were alive. Forte and his brothers were feared due to the damage they could cause. Heck. Some people even feared me and my temper. That doesn't mean we were the scum of the earth. Phantom shifted slightly before asking. Why do you care so much to make me think I wasn't so bad? Because I can tell when a family member is feeling down and I want to be a good influence on my nephew. Roll replied. Phantom gasped. You're related to Master X. Yes, I'm his older sister, build date wise. He spoke about all of you as you were growing up. She explained giving her nephew a pat on the shoulder as she talked. Is he here? Yes, Roll answered. X is here. Currently, he's a bit busy though. It's okay. Phantom replied. 
I don't really want to see Master X right now. Not yet. That's understandable. Would you mind if I sat here with you? No. That's fine roll. As the two sat, he began to cry. She gave him a pat on the back and scooted closer to remind him that no matter what stumbles he made, his family would be there. Can we hear one more? I've got something in my eyes. And what's that? Tears. Oh well if that's the case then I guess I've got one more.
Oh, oh.